What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. After a long time, I'm finally making an updated version on no board and how to put an on screen keyboard because I've seen a lot of questions in my comment section and I just can't get to all of them. So I thought I'd just make a new updated version and that's what this is going to be. So first, I'm going to walk through all the steps this time, not skip anything and make sure I make it as clear as possible. And uh, then I'll try to make sure you're answering questions or comments that you guys might have. So first, uh, this uh, link will be at the top of the description. It's to github.com. This is like the newest update. It's a rewrite, but it's right off the same website. And uh, you're going to first click on the no board rewrite uh, v1.3.0 and just click on that and have that installed bottom left corner of your screen. Perfect. And uh, with that, we're just going to drive that to our desktop and put that right here. And now you just, uh, if you have like WinRAR, just extract to uh, no board rewrite. I'll just give you the folder and uh, enjoy Bob Ross. But um, you're going to open it up and you're going to notice you have keyboard, clipper underscore library, no board, which is the actual application, no board to hooking DLL, and then uh, system value tuple. Uh, I want you to go in here and uh, open no board. So right now you're going to have this uh, blue square and this is just the basic setup you will want to right click and so settings you can just kind of customize uh, things you want like mouse sensitivity scroll held time uh, stuff like that if you want to like actually work with that go right ahead but to set up a keyboard right click hit load keyboard and now you have uh, like seven three four five six seven eight different options so burning fish is obviously the, the main keyboard and you can customize it right here um, you have games legacy which is just the small arrow keys uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but this is, I'm assuming, more like a controller type thing. Uh, this is the one that you're going to want, but I'll get right back to that. Normal is um, another normal keyboard. Uh, then we have Quake. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> the Core. This is also one that, this I think is for uh, uh, left-handed people, if they use a side I, I don't know though, but just a guess. And then wheels, this is, yeah, another keyboard with a little mouse at the bottom and like your mouse one, mouse two. So to go back to JOA and um, now you can customize it. So on the right side here, you'll see all the different versions. Uh, there's a whole list of them. And I obviously, I'm going to choose the same one I chose on the last video, which is clean black, clean white. And, uh, over here, you can actually see uh, like the name link. If you put in a new font, you can have a different keyboard or a different mouse in there. I don't know where you can find these fonts. I if I get enough comments about it, I'll look into it and make another video on that. But what I'm gonna do now is just select this one and just hit close. So now I have this green screened mouse. So I do want to address something. No, you cannot see your mouse when you're in game. This is direct. This is like 100% just meant for OBS or Streamlabs for your viewers to see. So now open up your Streamlabs or OBS. It'll be a sa the same thing. Like go to sources and uh, add a new source. And you want to hit window capture. Add source. And I don't need to name it. But right here you want to click on window. And you want to open up the noboard.exe. This one right here. Don't need to change anything else. Hit done. Now, this is the important part. Right click on the window capture. Or no, no. Uh, I think you can do both. But just right click up here on your mouse. Hit filters. Add a filter. Go down to chroma key. Just hit done. You, I will show you these settings if these don't automatically go in for you. But these are the settings that... So it now becomes green screened into the screen. You can see it on the video. It's in the bottom left. Click my mouse, right click, uh, WSD, shift. So yeah, that's how you add a mouse and keyboard, or yeah, mouse and keyboard to your stream in 2020. This is as present as possible. It is June 23rd when I am going to be uploading this video. So if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm going to put the link to this video into my old one, see if I can get some people over here and hope that their questions get answered. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions for future videos or tutorials, make sure you leave them down below. And make sure you hit the sub button. We're on the road to 1K, almost there, and uh, it mean a lot. So 
See you guys later.